as I was discussing this with my son, he's 17, about the difference between how I was brought up and how my husband was brought up. His parents were very working class, and he was the first to go to university, and his mum literally worked her life to send them to private school, and he went on to university. And he had everything that they didn't have. But then at university, he, just like all these other well-brought-up university kids, drunk far too much alcohol mm. and buggered his liver. And he's not an alcoholic or anything like that, but he has damaged his liver, which went on to have other problems. Mm-hmm. And I think his, mm-hmm. his, his relationship to danger, he considers himself to be a very safe, responsible person, but clearly not when it came to university. Right. <laughs> Whereas right, right. for me, I didn't have that. My, my dad said, my, both my parents were teachers, and they both were like, we're not qualified to tell you what to do with your life. We know what you're like, a bit like my son. Mm-hmm. We can't tell you what to do. We've seen what you're like. You don't listen. <laughs> we're right. going to have to just let you do what you want. Do you do you, and we'll see right. what happens. So I didn't go through all of that. But as a result, in a sense, I had a more, in a sense, I've come out healthier in the long run because mm-hmm. I've had to work it out for myself and yep. nobody else was going to do it for me. And that's, this isn't a recipe for everybody. But what I'm saying is the difference was I could see that if you give somebody everything and tell them that this is what you need to do, then mm. they're not necessarily actually thinking about questioning what's actually good for them or not. They don't, right. they, 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 they trust that the system has provided for them and the system will look after them and this is what they have to do and they can trust that and they don't question it. Mm. Whereas if you, for whatever reasons, come into the world and life and things, and things don't fit you, things don't work out in the way that you think they should, and you do question things, providing you do have some relationship to reality. I think but most important, I had parents who did love me, and they both said, whatever happens, we're here for you. And even though they couldn't necessarily provide much more than that, in a sense that because there was a loving, you are okay, we love you the way you are, you are who you are, you have, that's in a sense, I think that's fundamentally more important to your mental well-being that it's not connected to whether you pass your test. I right. think that's another thing that I think a lot of my husband's anxiety was caused by him attaching, I don't think his parents did it on purpose or anything, but he had this, he was very bright and he was good at passing tests and he got a lot of anxiety from not being good enough. Mm. And whereas I think inadvertently somehow my parents managed to say you're good enough without anything. You don't need to do anything to be good. You're right, okay. Right. You are. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.